So growing up as a junior sailor, there's lots of options in front of you. Generally we start in smaller boats, so I grew up sailing a Sabo myself, but from a Sabo there's lots of different types of boats and lots of different reasons why you might go sailing. You know, the question that you usually ask is, should I sail with someone else? Should I sail a double-handed boat or should I move down the single-handed path? And honestly, the most important thing from my perspective is to do both. Try both, learn a bit about what you do and don't like, and just get out there and enjoy it. So when I first started sailing, I was in the Sabo class. I sailed here on Lake Macquarie at Wanji Sailing Club, and we had a good group of people that we sailed with. We sailed Sabos, we moved around New South Wales, and then started to realise that we could go to national titles, started going to national titles, and I met people from all around the country. You know, I was sailing two ups at that time, so I was under 11 years old, and as I got a little bit older, I wanted to sail other types of boats as well, and was very lucky enough to sail a Flying 11. So I was able to sail Sabos and Flying 11s at the same time, probably two of Australia's strongest junior classes in the 90s. Then the big question comes, after sailing junior classes, well, where do I go next? What type of boat do I sail? And there are a few different youth classes to pick from. And so the way I made the decision with my family was to look at what are the internationally recognised youth classes. And for me, I was lucky enough that the 29er became an international class at that time. And so I moved from the Flying 11 into the 29er when I was 15 years old. I think one of the biggest factors for me why I chose to go into the 29er class was that it was a fast, fun, exciting boat. I grew up watching the 18-foot skiffs on TV and thought, that's me, I love sailing and I like to go fast. So I went down that pathway. I was excited about the speed of the boat. It was a brand new boat at the time as well. And it was a really natural progression from the Sabo, which taught you the fundamental basics of sailing, the Flying 11, which taught you about spinnakers and jibs and how to sail with another person. And so I thought the natural progression for me was to go into the 29er. My name is Joel Bishel and I'm 13 years old. I started racing up these at six years old. My best result in the Opti's was at Melbourne at Opti Nationals when I came first. Our main focus is 29ers now, but I do a bit of wing dinging and fly nanning from time to time, just for a bit of fun. I moved on quite early out of Optimist and I feel like it helps give you a little bit of a head start in the other classes. The other thing that made it easy for me to transition at that kind of age was that a lot of my friends did it at the same time. You know, we were sailing, flying 11s, a lot of us throughout New South Wales, and we all were talking about how many more years we might stay in this class. And then the 29er comes in, it's an exciting boat. And so a lot of us did it all at the same time. And the other big plus for us was that the Worlds were going to be in Sydney. And so that was also a motivation, get in that class where there was going to be great racing within the country. But I think at the end of the day, you, you do need to factor, is the boat suitable for you? Are you going to be big enough? So for me, being young and small, it was easy to get into a 29er because I didn't need to be very strong or very big to drive that boat. But there's no way I could have had a crew like Ian Jensen who sailed with me in the Flying 11 because he would be way too small to crew on a 29er. So I sailed with someone who was a couple of years older than me. That was basically what made sure we were going to be competitive. I think a lot of sailors these days fall into the trap of trying to be super competitive at a, at a young age. Now, of course we want to win and we want to be as good as we can be, but I think one of the most important things in the first five to 10 years of your, your sailing is to do it locally, to learn the fundamentals of sailing and racing on the domestic scene. And, that, and that's what I did, you know. I came from a family where we didn't have a whole lot of money. So we never had that opportunity to go overseas and race internationally. And so I see so many young sailors these days trying to go to international competitions in Europe, spending lots of money before they've really got the basics of racing sorted. I think the best thing that we can do here in Australia, being so isolated from the rest of the world, is to develop a really good domestic racing circuit. We've got some fantastic national classes here. And I think until you're at an age where you're going to sail an internationally recognised youth class like a 420 or the Laser or a 29er, you're best to stay local, build the domestic fleet 
and then get ready for international competition in your late teens.